Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello Indudu natives, we meet again in my kitchen for another throw down of flavors. So in my two previous videos, I showed you how to make your own chicken confit, which can be preserved for much longer. I proceeded using the chicken confit, some of it, um, for my chicken stuffed pan fried pies, which is incredible. And if you haven't tried it yet, you need to. Now, this is an inspiring recipe, so you definitely need to try it. And if you have followed all the recipes that I've created so far, this will be easy for you to emulate. Because the next thing is my leftover Ayama sea sauce, exactly. Now, this sauce is rich in flavor. It's got the smoked dried heron, some lamb pieces, I use some red peppers, chili, is ever so incredible. So yet again, I'd leave a link in the description box for all three recipes so you can familiarize yourself with this recipe. Now, naturally, I would leave all the list of ingredients and you'd find the written recipe on my blog, fafagilbert.com. And if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. You are appreciated. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button whilst you're here and also the notification button activated to all so you do not miss any future videos. So as I mentioned, I'll be using my leftover shredded chicken. You can be creative and use any filling of your choosing. The next thing I'm adding to my mix is my chopped spring onions, which is going to add that beautiful crunch and that sort of onion and tone flavor that would come through. And then we have the almighty Ayamasi sauce, which is a Nigerian inspired sauce. It's absolutely incredible. Now, I also had my leftover mashed potatoes, and I'm just going to be adding that to this recipe. So if you watched the stuffed chicken pan fried recipe, I did divide the mashed potatoes in two, and I mentioned I was going to do another recipe with this. And here we have it. So here I'm going to be mixing everything together until it's well combined. And I think at this point I was like, no, it needs a little bit more of the Ayama sea sauce because it's just beautiful. Bear in mind, you know, this is already cooked. Every ingredient here is cooked. So yeah, you can just enjoy it. There's, you don't need anything else apart from those three main ingredients, may I say. Yes. And I think this now looks sochi, I mean, I it looks rich and packed with full layers. So the next thing I'm going to do is mold this into a disc form. Now, after molding all your chicken into your preferred shape, I mean, you would notice that when I create the disc form, I, you know, raise it. That is just me being pernickety, really. You don't need to. But yes, I just did that because the same day that I made my pan fried stuffed chicken pieces, I also made these and I needed to refrigerate them. Yes, now this can also be frozen and as and when you require it, you can grab one out, let it you know, defrost and then you can cook it through or leave it in the refrigerator for up to maximum about, about three to four days. Yes. And when you're ready, you take it out, get your frying pan and, you know, warm it through. So that's exactly what we're doing here. And I'm going to be cooking this on that medium to low heat just to ensure that the heat permeates through everything. And I will be using my spatula to add that little pressure on top to form that perfect disc form that I've been talking about exactly. Now the reason why I did it in that you know sort of tall disc like shape was because you know I was just giving myself the option of baking this as well that I could just drop it in the oven 
whilst I'm multitasking doing something else. And by the time it melts or, you know, it comes down, it won't completely scatter. So exactly why I did it. But here yeah, we have it. And you can just see that it's melting nicely and beautifully. And I didn't need to add any oil to this um, because, of course, the oil is coming from the chicken as well as the ayama sea sauce. And that is just flavor packed. Now, if you like what you see, please don't forget to smash that like button. Leave your comments below. Yes. And to my notification gang, thank you guys so much for holding me down, especially in 2021. It's very challenging. And you guys have been nothing but so encouraging and I appreciate each and every one of you. So, yes, I'm going to pan fry this for about three minutes on each side until I can see that piping hot steam coming through. That's what I know, that it's permeated through every little grain and every ingredient of my chicken cake, may I say. <laughs> so this is truly ready. Here we have a piece that is a stones. Yes. Now, do you like what you see? Please don't forget to like the video, leave your comments below, share with your family and friends. Look up for labor. Open your mouth now for me. Virtual feeding. Exactly. Now, you can serve this with a bed of salad, any salad of your choosing. I also enjoyed this with my homemade pistachio and cardamom milk, which is incredible by the way as i mentioned earlier i'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog fafagilbert.com so do check it out i'm on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat as in to do by fafa so pass by and say hi norelle thank you very much for my theme song and until my next amazing recipe with you incredible individuals and to my loyal subscribers which i appreciate you so much yes Take care of you and as I always say, me, I love you for you. See you soon and thank you very much for watching.